Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jim Labuda here once again. Today we are going to take a look at the golf swing of the most recent winner on the PGA Tour, Wyndham Clark. Wyndham picked up his first PGA Tour victory this past Sunday at the Wells Fargo Championship, holding off Xander Shoffley for a four-stroke victory. Now, Wyndham's always had a very solid game, very athletic player, but over the past year or so, he's been working on building a lot of speed in his golf swing, in particular with his driver. He's wanted to increase his club head speed so he can get a little more distance. Let's take a look and see what he does in particular that helps him build that club head speed, but also helps him start his downswing with his lower body first, which is the key to perfect sequencing and more distance in your golf swing. As Wyndham sets up here. Very good classic setup position. Rotates away from the ball. Both arms are fully extended here. Nice wide extension. When the club gets parallel to the ground, you can see it's right in line with the hands here. Very good spot. One thing about his golf swing is that you can actually see if we put some lines here on his right leg, you're going to kind of notice that the right leg almost starts to straighten just a little bit in the backswing. The left knee moves in a little bit. I'd like to see that maybe stay a lower body, stay a little bit quieter in the beginning of the golf swing here. But again, it worked for Wyndham. He's now got a PGA Tour victory. So as he starts moving to the top of his swing here, this is really the area I want you to focus on. And I'm going to draw a circle here really around his midsection and his core in particular. As he gets to the top of the golf swing, we all know that we want to start the downswing with our lower body first. We swing from the ground up and our legs lead the swing. But what Wyndham does an awesome job here is really engaging his core and using that core in particular to get that lower body and get those hips rotating. You can see as that core starts to turn, his shoulders still stay relatively close. He's not spinning open his shoulders at all, but he's using that lower body and using that core to get the downswing moving. The core is what's moving the hips a lot of times we see players move with the hips first, and then they forget about the upper body, but he's really engaging the core here. Club shallows out really nicely at this point, leading into a perfect impact position here. You can see he's definitely got a lot more side bend. Right foot's coming up off the ground a little bit here. Hips are definitely open relative to the shoulders, relative to the target, and then he gets into a really good extension here. Again, you can see an impact. We put some circle around that right elbow, a little bit of bend there. As he gets into impact, he's rotating his upper body, and then that right arm extension really blasts through the ball. So if you guys are starting to struggle with getting your lower body to engage in the downswing or really start the downswing with the lower body, start focusing on your core. Get that midsection moving first. That'll get your lower body moving, should help you start sequencing the golf swing a little bit better and getting more speed and power in your golf swing today.